You know what's never useful in the discussion of occupational equality? Why would a woman want to be an ex anyway? Now, don't get me wrong. I say this all the time about women belonging to various institutions. Why would a woman want to be a Republican? Why would a woman want to be a Christian? Those are both very valid questions. But when it comes to women having particular jobs, I'm perfectly okay with them wanting the job just because women don't have it. I mean, I fucking hate Lisa Murkowski and Susan Collins, but the Republican Party is better with them than it would be with no women senators. So while it's inexplicable to me why a woman would want to be Catholic, I completely understand why a woman would want to be Pope. So with that in mind, I was disappointed but utterly unsurprised to see just how little the Vatican did to advance female leadership at the end of their idiotically titled Synod of Synodality. This was basically a listening tour the Pope did, except he's the Pope, so people mostly just came to him or his representatives. It was basically a slow burn publicity stunt to make it look like the Vatican is seriously considering all the controversial steps towards modernity like, you know, equality. And then they released a document that basically said, yeah, we thought about it, so what? Like, for example, when it comes to female leadership, the strongest recommendation in the final document is that the church at least put women in the few leadership roles they're already allowed to occupy. There are actually a couple of them, but even in the instances where women are allowed, they're still not welcomed. Beyond that, the best they managed was to say that the question of granting women the power to preach at mass, lead funeral services, and give last rites was still open. So not yes, but not all the way no. So lucky us, ladies. And look, I don't know what women preaching at mass would look like, but I know what it wouldn't look like. And that brings us to our next story out of Georgetown, Texas. Georgetown is the home of the Covenant Bible Church, which is the home of Pastor Joel Webbin. And I learned this week from him at Meta's blog that Webbin recently preached a sermon where he suggested publicly executing women as a means of cracking down on rape accusations. Now, in his defense, this kind of insanity is biblical. So the best I can say in his defense is that the Bible is just as bad as he is. But according to the Bible, women who falsely accuse men of rape should be publicly executed, which is an argument against the Bible and not for the death penalty. But damned if Webbin realized that. So he took the opportunity to point out that a few of those executions sure would cut down on false accusations of rape. And since we know that rape allegations are always fairly adjudicated by the patriarchal system, we know it would only deter false allegations. Anyway, so Pastor Joel Webbin is preemptively coming out against rape accusations and implying that false ones are a pernicious problem. If I've learned anything as a watchdog of religion over the past decade, it's that we should put a pin in that. It might be relevant to a future story. Anyway, with that and a desperate reminder to vote for Kamala and let me eat my goddamn cupcakes this time, I'll hand you back over to Noah Heath. And Eli.